Hi, my name is Eden Weisshahn, and I'm a fire weather forecaster here at the National Weather Service in Reno. Today, we're going to talk about red flag warnings, what they are, and what you can do. Red flag warnings alert fire agencies and the public of weather conditions that have the potential for wildland fires to grow rapidly in size and intensity before first responders can contain them. Red flag warnings are only issued for those areas where the grass, bushes, or trees are dry enough for large fire growth. We issue red flag warnings when strong gusty winds combine with very dry conditions or when we are expecting thunderstorms with little to no rainfall. Red flag warnings are issued when these weather conditions are expected to be met in the next one to two days. So, what can you do? There are a few things you can do to prepare your home and family for wildfire. You can create defensible space around your home by reducing vegetation near your house. This allows firefighters to safely defend your home during a wildfire. During red flag days, you should avoid any outdoor activity that could spark new wildfires. This definitely includes things like using fireworks or not properly attending or extinguishing outdoor fires. There are a few other activities you should avoid on a red flag day that you may not have realized. These include target shooting, mowing or trimming of dry grass, using chainsaws, grinders, or even welding outdoors. Even driving vehicles over dry grass or improperly stowed trailer chains dragging on a highway can be dangerous during red flag warning days. Basically, you want to avoid any activity that could potentially spark a wildfire. Also remember, it's very important to create a family emergency plan for safely and effectively evacuating. For more information on what you can do to prepare for wildfires, go to livingwithfire.info. Thank you for listening.